been out here 30 years. I used to play with Wolf, Howlin' Wolf for 20, three and a half years until he died. And see, we, we were so close to, together till he wouldn't go nowhere without me, man. And I didn't feel right going nowhere without him. You know what I'm saying? Just like father and son. You know? Pretty like it was, it was. I was by him like Span was Muddy Waters. Uh, you know, other about you understand what I'm talking about? Because we was just like that. I, I found out, I said, hey, this is the man's boy. This is my, this is me. Oh, so it's me. And that's what, has, that's what happened. The, the, the music and the, and the voice. I can say this go for Jimmy Rogers when he's with Muddy, go for Eddie Taylor when he's with Jimmy Reed. Jimmy Reed was Eddie Taylor. Eddie Taylor was Jimmy Reed. Hubert was Wolf. Wolf was Hubert. This is the way we had it. This is the way it was. Tell you what, he didn't, in the, in the job he went to, uh, in the job he did, if he's on the show with a big, uh, with a big uh, package deal, uh, uh, we played a big festival, or who's an ever was, he didn't care who was on the show, he gonna do his best. Just like he told us when he go to the bandstand, he, he wanted you to do, uh, he wanted his musician to be, uh, do their best. If he didn't figure he could get the best out of you, man, he, he could. He had a way of doing it. Uh-uh, you wouldn't now. You wouldn't be there. You know what I'm saying? You'd say, hey, nice knowing you. Pay you right there and see you. You know what I'm talking about? And tomorrow you have somebody else, you know? And if they didn't do they had to go. You know, that's the way it was. But, man, come down to it. If you play this music, uh, it wasn't a better man in the world. But when he hit that bandstand, I don't know, any band thing, anywhere. He was a different man. Whole attitude changed. The whole everything changed, man. But he don't know nobody, man, but that music. Now that smoke's like lightning. I know you know it. You hear some things that this guy did, the uh, other words, I put the music to a, a lot of numbers, not all of them. His first is, in the forties and uh, like that, I wasn't with him, you know. But in the fifties, when I joined him, man, we had to, we did some recording, and one of the numbers went like this. You hear me? been moaning at midnight, but we changed around and made moaning for my dog. Okay, here's another number by the guy, man. I'm just playing, just giving you an idea of what, what I went through with when I was with him. Uh, this number right here, which it was all guitar players, and I guess a lot of musicians, a lot of singers try to do this number, which they do a nice job. Now it's called Howling for My Dog. for my darling. Then I hope Muddy cut a Muddy Waters cut some cut a lot of numbers, man. Rock me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's a long story. I, I hope for many people, you know, hope for many guys uh, record and do about David and so but I'm proud of it. That gave me, well, well, man, that gave me something to live for. Really, I thought maybe when Wolf passed and Muddy and all these people, man, that that would been it, you know what I mean? But man, ain't no way. In this business here, you love what you're doing. And Blue's gonna be here, man. It's gonna be here, it's here to stay. I want to roll me, just like you roll your dough.
get in the field. Get in the field. I'm a kid come down to guitars, man. You know, I, I, I don't play uh, many guitars. But this guitar is true, the, uh, the whole neck. You, you cannot, man, it's just worth a lot of money, man. A lot, a lot of money. I wouldn't care if I had it. That's all. If I can buy this guitar, I'll tell you I'm going to be a man again. <laughs> 